Good morning, everybody. I am Rose. This is Chris. It is Monday, and playoff weekend was this weekend. So let's go with the uh, anything. I called it last week. I, I didn't call it. I said, I sure got a feeling that Atlanta could win it all. And by the, saying that, from the looks of it, you could be right. I uh, kind of figured Green Bay would have a little low, a little low, and they did. A few turnovers early helped it. Atlanta spanked them. There's only one key element in the Super Bowl that you got to worry about. It's not Tom Brady. Nope. It's Bill Belichick. <clears throat> I it, think it takes somebody to catch one off their helmet. Yeah. Or to something to beat them. But Atlanta's got a lot of spunk. Well, we're two weeks away. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Patriots because of that, because he will find a way to game plan against it. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm rooting for the Patriots because either team wins. I kind of want the Falcons to win for Matty Ice, so he's not the you know the Dan Marino of this generation getting there. Or it's to be his first time to get well, there. So. It usually don't happen in the pros, but just in case, just in case my jinx works in the pros, yeah, I'll take New England as yeah. well. <laughs> so thank you, Atlanta. You are welcome, Atlanta. That is that. That is good morning, true. Atlanta. Good morning, Atlanta. That's absolutely true. <clears throat> Over the weekend, Friday was our best of show, and the president is now Donald Trump. He was sworn in. Did his deal. A lot of people went into riding modes. Uh, Ignorance. We had the women's the women's march. Uh, everybody, the femi the feminist or whatever, did the march. And I and I'm sitting here going, holy crap, man! All these servicemen and women fight daily for you to do stupid bullshit like that. Do you? Can you not think about that? No, they don't. I mean, if if the photos that are being posted are really some of the signs that are out there and some of the outfits that they're wearing, it's so disgraceful. It's 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 embarrassing as a country if other com countries are, are seeing that. It's oh, like, <clears throat> but 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 I'm saying is you you are you are marching for you don't know what's going to happen. You just all of a sudden think, well, the world's screwed. When Obama was president, the same thing happened. Oh, he was, he was, was he was the worst president ever. When you know, in That's, some people's eyes. Yeah, Trump's the worst. Trump's cabinet that he has put together has the highest IQ of any cabinet yet. Now that doesn't mean they have street smarts totally or agree. any sense, but he put together a very very smart team. And anybody who knows knows that the president. He, he isn't a dictator here. No. no. He has some rights, and he can stop bills and, right, and right. slow them down, but he doesn't rule the country. Yeah. I think we live in such a... We really do live in a stupid time with social media. Even though we do have a lot of smart people that are tech-savvy and stuff, we live, with a, we live in a stupid, common-sense world. And it is, it is because... I've never dealt with you, so you're wrong. You are absolutely wrong. And we're not we're not sitting up here saying we are the whoever if you didn't vote for Trump, you're an idiot. We're not saying any of that. We're saying the world is an idiot right now. The the, the people that were out there riding and we know why they're riding, they just want free stuff. Don't get me wrong. And Star stuff. The, the and I could be wrong. It's just crap I've read. The the people who own Starbucks were against Trump. Oh, they got all their but stuff you, bashed but out. But you bashed their stuff. Yeah, they got all their stuff bashed out. I don't know. It's it's sad. It really is. We try to keep this this uh, show kind politic, of yeah. fun and stuff, but that's just sad. <clears throat> Stupid. I'll, I'll be honest with you. You don't see that happen much in Texas. Well, because if it was at the backyard, we'd probably be down there with shotguns. Yeah, we'd have shot guarding our stuff. It's it is just 
the young, the just stupid people. So I'm gonna leave it at stupid people. Speaking of stupid people, oh, How no, you I don't no, I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, I heard this weekend Eric Willis did a really good job. Uh, Brandon Jenkins dude. did a good job. I went down to Brandon Jenkins for a little while. It was a nice little decent crowd. That's good. Went went to uh, grab a bite to eat and then went down there, you know, to about 10 o'clock, actually midnight. Going, you know, get on home about 10. But people kept coming in, you know, Colt and, and Joey, or not Joey, but Leslie and Austin from so Austin left Avenue. Too? And, no, we left about 11.30. But... Uh, People just kept coming in that I hadn't seen in a while because I hadn't been going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And had a really good time. Went outside just in time to dance to uh, when your feet don't touch the ground and uh, say bye to everybody. And then you were home. Yeah. Saturday night, Tito Ortiz retires by choking out Chell Sonnen. Not that you care. Choking out Chell Sonnen in the first round in about 48 seconds. That's his first win in about forty-eight years. Yeah, that's just he's he won his last fight, but prior to that he had lost it. Well, this was his finale. He is his swan song. He's done. He fought, and if you guys know UFC, you already know where I'm going with this. Chell Sonnen beat him back when they were in college. Chell Sonnen pinned him, beat him, and then that's when Tito quit. He went into the UFC. He became the Huntington Beach bad boy. But Chell Sonnen talked a lot of smack. I'm talking about his family. He talked a lot of smack. So when it came fight time, be pretty easy to talk crap about Ortiz's. Yeah, and that's what he did. Family. And when it came fight time, this was Chell Sonnen over there. Tito up and down, jumping, and it showed. He got his ass kicked. He didn't want nothing of it. People are saying it was a setup to get him off the, you know, to send him off. But this ain't pay per view. Bellator's not. It's on Spike. And he choked him. He was choking him so hard that when Don't they told him Don't tell me it's turning into WWE already. Jeez. Uh, I think some of it could be somewhere down there. I guarantee you some of it is. But he wouldn't let him go. <clears throat> and Big John was on him, pushing him. Finally Big John McCarthy. Put his thumb right here and got Because he wanted... He was... Oh. That's the problem. But that was the highlight of my weekend. I watched that on Saturday night. And it wasn't a highlight. I want to ask you if you think, and, that, and I want them to ask Man, if I this was blackmail. Huh? If, 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 I, if I did a blackmail thing, was this good? Stephanie is getting a new tattoo. Oh, yeah. He's right here on her, right here. She wants a new tattoo. She has the design picked out. She's getting it today after work. $100. That's the tip and all. So she's telling me. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I think she's telling me like, hey, 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 mm -hmm. hey, honey. And I went. Oh, I ain't no doubt. She was like, I, I, I'll pay for it. I'm good. I said, okay, okay. So yesterday, knowing she don't get paid for another two weeks, she was like, oh, yeah, I, I'm good. I'll, I, I'll, I'll be, you know, I got enough. And I was like, I'm sitting here going, okay. I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. Tell me if I'm wrong. I will give you $100 because she's really working out good, eating clean. I said, I'll give you $100 if you'll do a 30-minute spin session. And she went, what? Because yesterday was her day off. What? I said, $100 bill, 30-minute spin session on our spin bike. You get to watch one program, and during commercials, which we know are two and a half minutes, you have to stand up and ride the heels, which is going to be tough. I know Stephanie did it. She did Even it. Even if she threw up backwards, she did she it. She did it and <laughs> was like, but what do you think? What do you think about that as, as husband and wife? Me and you buddies, hey man, I need a hundred dollars. It was more, it was more of a fun deal. Oh, of course. It was more of a fun deal because I'm not married yet, but if I'd have done that, she'd have went. I'm just going to pay for it myself if I got to wait two weeks because I ain't doing no damn spin bike. And, but and you, I'd have said the same thing. You know, it's that deal and I, and I told her because she went well, like, now hey. that I know you got a hundred dollars. You my third uh, station. I can find you a hundred. You did have a hundred. I did have a hundred. But I... That's kind of the, 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 the stuff we do, and I knew she wanted it, but you're right. It was that deal of, this thought went like this. God dang, Sunday, I don't want to, but I ain't got to spend my own money. And I told her, I said, think about this. It's $100 and 30 minutes. $3 a minute, a little over $3 a minute. I, felt like, I felt like Bill Gates saying that. 
making that much money that I don't have anymore. So hey, if you guys, anybody has any, she uh, probably do it every day for a hundred bucks. I would. I, now you now that do it every day for a hundred bucks. That's a different deal. So if you guys will that. send money to this address to get my hunt. No, I'm just kidding, man. Gonna start a GoFundMe. GoFundMe. <laughs> and by that we mean GoFundMe. <laughs> I, I hate those. I hate those sites. Oh, they're everywhere. And I love those sites. For the ones that actually use it to do a CD or make a movie or start a website or start a product, I love I it. I do agree with but that. But there's so many. Oh, man, he stumped his toe. I'm going to start him a GoFundMe account. I, I hate that. To yeah. get him some bandages for his toes. But I know it's only going to cost 10 grand. Yeah. Those, those yeah. people will get what's coming to them. I yeah, think. That's, that's that karma. We're going to get out of here. I got to do a little drone flying today. Uh, taking a picture for this dude. Uh, when I hope to deal, so I'm pretty excited. Is there, is there going to be any way, because you're in my wedding, is there any way we can get Jason or somebody to fly it over one time? Think oh, we'll be yeah, able to have somebody I, do that? Yeah, that'll be easy. All right, for lunch today. I got it right here. Barbecue chicken sandwich Ooh. with fries, $8, and a drink, $8. Can't beat that. But let me tell you something. Save the date. Save this date. Save the date. Thursday. Bowling day. Come by and get our new chicken wings in moonshine barbecue sauce. But oh. Barry put some love in them. Yeah, I, Barry, I'm not going to tell you what he does. Barry does put some love in them. But it's a two-step process on these wings that makes all the difference. You know what? Them. You know what? We're going to start doing this every day. And we'll pick a winner the next day. So tomorrow I will name a winner. Okay? Okay. And here's what we're going to do. If they share it. If they share it. Watch, like, share. If you share it, share this show, there will be, come Friday, four people. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll pick four people out of those shares, which means me and you will randomly pick tomorrow. We'll name a name. And then we will draw right here in a little hat those people's names, and we will buy your lunch or give you a $25 gift certificate to come down the backyard. We'll, we'll buy your lunch down there. Well, Chris will because I don't have any more money. I gave it to Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris will buy your lunch. And you pick the day, but you got to share it. So if there's only three shares, one of those people will move on to the next day. And I hope there's more shares than that because you're going to get in there. So there's only going to be four chances. You on can only Thursday. win once. Yeah. But you got to keep sharing. A month, I guess. Yeah. Well, it may be once every 10 years. I don't know. We'll figure that out as we go. But we will announce it. I will. We will announce it on... Friday, the best of show. So you'll have to watch it. Your name will pop up. You will get a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to the backyard to go have lunch. If you share it every day, you got a better chance to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'll see your name if it's you know John Daly shares it and then he's in there every time. But I would like to give one away for Thursday because that's the chicken wing day. Okay. So whoever shares it today has a chance for Thursday. To win you some, so we'll some do a draw for Thursday too. Wings. Okay, I like so it. So in the morning we'll look through them, draw one for Thursday's chicken wings. I like it. All right, man. Everybody have a great day. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. Watch, like, share, and we are.